Hello. Okay, so a couple of things. Today I'm going to be announcing that I am pregnant. <laughs> um, we're really excited to add a new little baby to our family. Um, and our due date is later this fall at the end of the summer. So that's very exciting. But I have been so sick <laughs> for this first trimester. And that is why I have been more quiet on social media, not as active as I usually am with my beauty group and everything. So I'm looking forward to hopefully not feeling so sick. I'm hoping as we get into this next trimester that I will have more energy. It's just been really, really bad. <laughs> so today's my birthday um, and Valentine's Day is coming up. And I've always just kind of thought as Valentine's Day as like my whole birthday week. And I love the colors, I love the chocolate, I love the flowers. It's all just great. And so really, it's all just my birthday to me. <laughs> but we're gonna do a Valentine's Day look using Demi. Um, because I wanna do a full Demi tutorial. We're gonna do our best. Hopefully I can make it through it and not get too nauseous. Um, that's been my issue lately, trying to film as I just end up getting so nauseous. So I'm gonna try not to look at the screen too much. <laughs> um, and we can do a whole Demi tutorial and I will explain things and colors so you guys can get a good idea of how you would be using it um, for like something that's a little more glam but still natural. You'll see, it'll be fun. Um, but thank you guys all just for sticking around while I've been gone. <laughs> so let's get started. So if you haven't seen Demi Color yet, this is Demi Color. It's a new line of makeup. It is completely revolutionary and unlike anything else on the market. It replaces foundation and all makeup with using color science to just target very specific little colors that you see on your face to filter them and thereby you leave most of your skin alone and let it glow because skin is beautiful and you can't replicate it. You can't replicate the glow and luminosity of a real natural skin. Um, so this way we can preserve that, which is really exciting. Um, it's something I think I've always wanted but didn't know like how it could ever work. And so our founder and CEO, Kara, figured it out. <laughs> and I just feel so, lucky that I get to share it with you guys and I get to be one of these pioneers um, of this new makeup line because I think it's really going to make a big change in the beauty industry as we lean more into natural beauty and skin and all of that just everything that I love so that's Demi Color and now let's show you how to use it so far I have just done my brows I still use my 3d contour colors for my brows because they are ashy right here, so I use shadow, um, and the ashiness just matches my hair better, right? So it's just a truer eyebrow color versus trying to mix things in the Demi palette to make that. I still like using my contour, um, as well as my brow wax. So I'm still utilizing those, and then I just put some mascara on my lashes. Um, and then I just moisturized, because I was feeling really dry this morning, so I did use some moisturizer that's sunk in now, and we're ready and prepped. We don't need to do a primer or anything as long as your skin is feeling good and soft and like ready to go. You don't need to add anything else. But if you're feeling really dry, then you're going to want to put on a moisturizer just so that the creams are going to sit nicely and not, you know, be flaky and stuff because they'll obviously mimic the texture of your skin, right? So that should make sense. We have a new line of brushes to go with Demi as well. And if you're going to try Demi, you need the new brushes. <laughs> you don't necessarily need all of them. We can pick just a couple. And with the Angel Edits, as they're called, um, the Angel Edits are pre-made palettes. So this is like every single color in line, but there are pre-made palettes with just the colors you would need based on if you have light skin, medium skin, or dark skin. Um, all ready to go with a couple of brushes. So I will post more about that over the next couple of days. Um, just everything you need to know, if you wanna get it, what you would need, what color science is and how to identify colors, I'll be going over all of it, okay? So that's gonna be coming um, over the course of this next two weeks, okay? I promise <laughs> we're getting to it, like I said we would. But these are the brushes um, and I'll use a few of them today, but they, apply very differently than our 3D brushes or than any other makeup brushes you could use. So you really do need 
demi brushes if you're gonna use demi color makeup, okay? We are gonna start with sculpting. Um, because if you go right into this, trying to pinpoint all the things that you consider distractions, you're probably going to pick too many things. <laughs> um, the more I've been using Demi Color recently, the more I found that I can use way less than I thought I needed. Um, I would identify a color and think that it needed to be neutralized, and so I'd end up, you know, getting a lot of these spots covered and filtered that didn't need makeup in the first place. Um, so I've really found the more I've used it, the more I've been able to see the beauty in my own skin and not see so many things as distractions, right? We've been kind of brainwashed with the beauty industry to think that it all needs to be one flat color. And that's not skin, <laughs> that's not human, you know, that's not what humans look like. Um, there are just, the, you have the entire color wheel in your face and it's beautiful. Um, so as we're identifying colors, I'll show you, I'll go more in depth on kind of what's a distraction and what's not a distraction. And really it is a personal thing, but hopefully I can help you figure things out so you're not overdoing it. And, Cause when you overdo it, you make yourself look flat again and kind of like a ghost. And we don't want to look like a ghost. We want to look like a person. <laughs> So let's just jump in and start with sculpting. Um, sculpting, like I said in another video, is similar to contour. It's just that we want to sculpt and bring out the shape of our face, and we're gonna use neutral colors to create shadows in order to do that. Okay, so these are kind of our neutrals right here. Um, and I wanna go right here. We're still gonna focus on the color wheel, so I'll have to put a little thing up here of the color wheel so you can see the green across from green. I'm calling this green because it's murky. So let's identify colors. Green is gonna be kind of dark and mulchy and murky, and that tells you that it's green. If it is very dull and dark, like right here, that's blue. If it's really vibrant, um, it would have to be really, really like super vibrant to be a red or an orange. But if it's like, I'm trying to see if I even have some, sometimes right here, will be purple because it'll be pretty vibrant but still darker than my normal skin tone and that would be considered purple on the skin. Um, so yeah, those are a couple examples. I will share some slides in another post this week to show you examples of what that looks like and how to identify that in your own face. But for me right here, it's a little murky and mulchy and that tells me that it's green. So I'm gonna jump over, complimentary color is red. And I'm gonna use this brush. I like this brush a lot. I use this for blush and then this for sculpting. So I'm gonna use a neutral red. So these are both neutral reds. This one's just darker, this one's lighter, right? Cause you have the different <clears throat> depths within the color wheel. I'm gonna use the darker one cause I wanna be a little more glam. So I want some deeper sculpt right now. Let me see that. So I'm just kind of putting it where I would put my contour filtering the green, you can just fan it on there until you're happy with it. You really need like nothing at all with these creams. And that's, um, you'll see the pricing is a little higher than 3D. So each of these is $22, but that's because you use so little of the product when you're applying that this tin, any of these tins, is gonna easily last you a year, if not more. Um, so the price ends up being the same <laughs> as our other line. When you factor in usage, um, you're not gonna need to replace these nearly as often because you're gonna use such a tiny amount of it. Okay, so there's that side, that side. Okay, um, so let's do, this one will make it match. And so starting with the sculpt, the reason I wanna do that is because once that's in place, um, that in its on its own is going to make other distractions go away. I'm not gonna notice them as much if I put other things on first and then at the end go in and pinpoint things that I actually wanna filter and brighten. So that's why I'm starting with sculpt.
And then I do wanna go over my forehead. I'm still kind of green through here. I tend to be pretty neutral on my forehead, so I can really use whatever I want um, and just kind of pick whatever color that I want to bring out in that spot. So I'm fine bringing out some more of the red and the warmth right here on my temples. Right, so if there's nothing to neutralize, nothing to filter with a complementary color, then you have that freedom to say, okay, so what color do I want to bring out? And you can pick that color. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Definitely put questions in the comments and I can explain some more. But I'm just gonna use this same one sculpt so you can see that you don't need a billion of these colors. You can just pick individual ones to do your whole face and make a little collection if you don't wanna do the whole angel edit. Cause I totally, I totally understand. It's easier to start with less and be less overwhelmed. So lots of options. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna use, I wanna use a little bit of purple sculpt as well right here. Just cause I want a little more blue and shadow up here to really structure the face. Cause blue, right, is dark and creates shadow. So if I use purple, I got some blue, I got some red. And it's gonna create a little more shadow but keep the warmth, okay? Really subtle, really subtle changes. Um, but it ends up making a really beautiful difference at the end where you still look like you just filtered, <laughs> but in real life. Okay, so there's that. Let's do a little bit of no sculpt. I'm trying to think which one I wanna use. We can use this one, that's fine. You wanna be careful not to use brushes that are a lot larger than the area you're trying to cover because you don't wanna place demi-color colors outside of the area exactly where you want it to be, right? Because if it's spreading anywhere else, then you're changing a color that doesn't need to be changed and then creating more issues for yourself. So the name of the game with Demi is precision. Just get it exactly where it needs to go, use the tiniest amount possible, and you'll be in good shape. So I wanna do my nose a little bit. And so this is one of those times when I can say, okay, I know that I want it to be more structured, I wanna add some more shadow, and so I'm gonna use blue, I'm gonna use a neutral blue. Okay, so that's these ones that look like almost black. Okay, and I'm just gonna go right here on the bridge of the nose. You can see it's really, really pigmented. So that's what I'm saying, just use a tiny, tiny bit. You can use the brush to spread it where you want. This is a trick to get that very kind of svelte looking nose, depending on what you're into. You definitely don't need to do this, but I wanna show you, cause it's fun. <laughs> and I feel like this is one of those things, you can definitely see it makes a difference as I put it on. Make sure I'm looking in the mirror and not just the screen so I can see it all. <laughs> Oh, so that's another note and, oh, other announcement, I'm moving. So that's also another thing that's going on and why I've been a little less um, active on here. We're getting ready to move and I'm really excited because this house has been so hard for lighting, for pictures and videos and like getting really good um, light. And I think it's gonna be a lot better in our new place. So I'm really looking forward to that <laughs> because with Demi Color, you don't wanna use um, bathroom or fluorescent lighting. Um, cause it's, it's not gonna show your true skin and the colors in your skin. You want to use natural light as much as you can. I understand if it's like really early and you don't have it, <clears throat> there are some other things you can do, but your best bet is just to sit in front of a window to do Demi, um, so that you can really identify the colors in your skin. So I've got a big window right here, but I'm looking forward to the new house. Okay. So there. There's that, I'm gonna get a little more, bring it a little closer in. Okay, cool. 
So then let's do eyes. Um, there are a couple of different ways to do eyes. I think what I want to do today is deepen some of the creases right here and then maybe brighten right here. So like I said, I kind of want to just deepen the crease. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use that same dark blue, neutral blue. And we're going to deepen right here, add a little shadow. You see the difference there? Just a little tiny bit of color. Right, so this isn't like traditional eyeshadow. You still kind of want to utilize the color wheel and just your understanding of these colors as you learn about them um, to play with your eyes versus just covering them in sparkles. And don't get me wrong, you guys know I love my eyeshadow, I love playing around, but this is how to do it the Demi way. Okay, so right here, I always have a difficult time. I feel like this, the colors on my eyes are changing all the time. And so sometimes they're more orange, sometimes they're more purple. It's not super vibrant, maybe they're just blue with some yellow in there, right? Because you have so many veins, so eyes are kind of funny. But let's see. I guess blue and yellow would make green, right? <laughs> so I can use the red sculpt. I'm gonna flip this to the fluffier side and go to that dark red sculpt again. We're gonna use that right here. Okay, and then down here, this feels pretty purple and blue to me on the lower lid. And so I could choose to either deepen that, which I think is what I'm gonna do, um, or filter it, but I don't really wanna neutralize that because I think it's pretty. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush. I'm gonna get this one. This is one you definitely need because it's perfect for getting the little spots. So this brush, I definitely recommend. Um, but I'm gonna use this little one to create a little bit of eyeliner with that same neutral blue that I was using before. I'm gonna get that right on the lash line. I think the less you can use under your eye makeup wise, the better off you're gonna be because there's gonna be less less things to get increases, less fallout, right? So I'm just gonna keep this right on the lash line so it doesn't move around. It'll kind of do the job of an eyeliner, but in a more subtle way. Right. Tiny bit more, I see I'm just barely dipping it in. I can do the same right here. Okay. There is a start. Um, I think I want to brighten the lid a little bit. And it's looking a little yellow. So I get yellow. What's the cause for yellow? Purple, right? Yeah, the more you get used to the color wheel, it'll be easier for you to say, oh, okay, so this one's gonna be this, this one's gonna be this. Um, I don't have a lot of yellow in my skin that I try to filter, so I don't even know if I'd really call that yellow, but we're gonna try it and just go with purple. Sometimes she's kind of experiment. <laughs> so I'm gonna use actually one of these brightening colors. Let's do this one. We'll put that on the lid. And then I'm gonna use one of the very bright ones. B 
because if you use a really bright blue or purple because it has blue in it, it's going to catch the light. And so I like to use that up here on the brow bone to catch a little bit of light. This is one spot where I am a little yellow and so using a, a really light purple is a good way to go. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna wipe the blue off of this little end. You'll see it still has a little, it's a little stained and so when I use my brush cleaner that'll come out but it's not coming onto my hand. So there's nothing left. Um, so I can pick up this very light purple and go where I am yellow right here. To create a little more brightness on the inner corner of my eye. So there's eyes. And you could definitely have fun adding in some of our blushes if you want more color, but I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral today, I think. And then we'll play up the lips, right? Okay, so now we can move into brightening and hitting what I would consider distractions, right? So for me, I consider it the under eye a distraction area because they are dark because I am pregnant. I've had major insomnia, have not been sleeping. Um, they're actually not that bad today. And I've realized, I think most of us feel like they're a lot worse than they actually are. We feel like they're a lot darker than they actually are. Like the darkness covers a lot more of our under eye than it actually does. Um, because we're so used to just putting like a white concealer all over in a huge triangle, right? Which we don't need to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you, because it's blue, right? It's just dark and dull, which is blue. So we're gonna use an orange to brighten. So I'm just barely gonna tap it on the darkest points. Always start with the very darkest points and then work from there. But you'll see that I don't need to touch as much of my skin as I would if I was using a traditional concealer, like we're used to doing. So it's not that there's now zero, um, what would the right word be? It's not that it's all completely white and flat now, but humans don't look like that. <laughs> so it's just filtered, so it's not, as, it's not as dark. I've just filtered out the excess blue. Is there still gonna be a little bit of blue there? Yes, because that's normal. <laughs> if you look at a little child's face, they have it too. It is just what humans look like. It's all good. Um, and so you kind of have to work on desensitizing yourself from the way we've been told to do it if you're gonna use Demi, right? So now you can see a difference. It's just a little brighter, but it still looks normal. <laughs> and like I'm not wearing makeup, which is kind of the whole point. So now I'll do the same thing over here, setting the darkest points. And I'll mention too, one thing is as you're placing it, you have to recognize that you're gonna be drawing blood to that area, which may make it seem like a little more exacerbated or a little red or just a little deeper. Um, so you can use the place and pray method, which is that you put it on because you know what color it was when you first looked at it and then just leave it. And then when the blood settles down, it'll look normal again, right? But anytime you poke your face, it's gonna bring up some color. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Oop. Okay, so I have some blue through here that I wanna get to. Just a little bit. And then right out here. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna target these veins specifically. So this one's not too bad today. But this guy is always pretty bright. Um, and so I don't need to, like I said, even when I put on my like a deep concealer, like a fully opaque concealer, this vein still shows through. <laughs> so I'm not so worried about making it disappear entirely. I just want to tone it down a little bit so it's not as like distracting. <laughs> Um, so it's blue, green, but pretty blue, and you want to target the darkest first. I'm going to target the blue. I'm going to use an orange that has a little more red in it, so it's like a pinky orange. And then just very precisely and carefully kind of dot along the vein. Filter it out a little bit. Like I said, with veins, they're a little trickier because it's not just that your skin is a different color, it's like you have a whole vein under your eye <laughs> or under your skin. Um, so don't worry so much about making it disappear with these guys. Don't get frustrated with yourself if there's something that you can't quite get. Um, it's okay, it's part of your skin, it's pretty. Just, you know, do what you feel like you need to do to make it the way you want it to be. <laughs> and for me, that just means a little brighter. I just don't want it to be as dark. Um, as long as I can brighten it up a little bit, it doesn't bother me too much. So I am going to do this one a little bit too. So when, if you put a little too much on there or if it's kind of showing funny, use your finger to tap up any of the excess cream um, so you don't see it. But that's under eyes fixed up a little bit. Let's see, I um, have a little darkness right here on my chin that is pretty blue. And it would be easy to say, oh, that's red, right? Because we consider anything on our face redness. <laughs> But it's not red, it's dark, which means it's blue. So I'm gonna use some orange. So you see how I'm using a lot of the same colors. You really only need a few for your face. And I'm just gonna lightly tap, filter that out. Now, we can have some fun. Let's put on some blush and then we'll do lips. Um, so I wanna go with like reds and pinks today. So I think I'm gonna use a pretty, one of our darker red blushes and then maybe mix with a lighter or more of like a Barbie pink, right? Cause those are good colors for me. I'm first gonna put on some of our, we have a gloss and a balm. And I'm pretty sure this is the balm and this is the gloss. And they just can add more shine and moisture where you need it. I like using both. So I'm actually going to spend a both for my lips. Make sure those are nice and soft before I put a color on them. Because my lips are always so dry. Okay. But let's dip into this guy. I'm not being... Um, to nitpick me about telling you exactly what color I'm using because you're gonna need to know for your face which ones to use. <laughs> um, so I don't want you to get too hung up on getting the exact same colors as me. We would need to focus on your face and picking your own colors. But I do wanna give you an idea of like how it works. <laughs> and so I'm still figuring out the best way to do color matching. Like I said, there are the Angel edits where you can get the whole um, collection you would need, or there are um, just bright edits, blush edits, but we're calling them edits, but blush collections and 
So I'll go over all of that, but that's just kind of based on light, medium, dark, because depending on where you fall is going to, um, will determine which depth of color you need. And then you can pick which exact colors you need. So we'll get more into that, but you can just see what I'm doing when I use it. All right, so just adding some rosiness with the red. And now I'm gonna pick up this bright pink. And put that on like the higher part right here. Blush is where I like to just have fun. So that's the thing is you can definitely, if you have a lot of redness here, like rosacea or something that you want to go in and neutralize first or leave it and neutralize around it and add more blush or color or whatever. Like I said, it's really based on your face and what you need to do. I don't have a ton going on in my cheeks. Um, they're just usually a little pink. So I can just add a little more pink and red and have fun with it. Because I like a really rosy, flushed look. Okay, and then I like to get my nose a little rosy too. That's cute. I'm gonna add a little more red right here. And to make it look kind of sun-kissed, I'm gonna just wash that. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of neutral orange and add a little bit of that right here to make me look a little more tan. So instead of a bronzer, I'm using a neutral orange. Right up by the temples. And then I can even take a little of it on top of the sculpt. To warm me up a bit. So if you like a bronzed look, you need neutral orange. Okay. So then let's do lips. I want this one that we were using earlier to do the nose. And I'm still going to utilize that whole shadow thing and use a neutral blue um, around my lips to sculpt them. And then we'll add color on to the actual lip. So I do tend to be kind of blue on the end already. And so I'm gonna pick up um, a blush that has some orange in it to start. So using a little orange or it's blue. And now we can have some fun. So I'm gonna take that same dark red. And start near the outside and put it on. The nice thing with this is that it's gonna be like a stain. So it's not gonna be drying. It's not gonna be um, something that will crack throughout the day, <laughs> right? I used to be super into the like, I think the brand was Stila and they had this matte liquid red lipstick that I used to wear all the time, um, but it would totally dry out my lips. It would end up, you know, cracking and fading around the corners and all of it. So this way you don't have any of those issues and you're just adding a sheer red. So it's not gonna be something where your husband or your boyfriend's be like, oh, that's totally 
unkissable, right? Because who really wants to go in and kiss that? <laughs> so this is still gonna be um, like a natural lip. It's still gonna be soft and they're not gonna be worried about getting it on them. So it's just the best of everything. <laughs> and so like this would be a starting point and then you can build if you want it to be deeper. Just keep adding layers. I'm gonna take a little pink like I was using before on my cheeks and use that to brighten kind of in the middle. So that's just kind of fun is that you're not locked into one tube of lipstick. You can use a couple different shades to create a custom color. more of the glass and bomb. Make sure they're very soft. Give them a little shine. Right, so it still almost looks like that's just my natural lips, right? But they're very rosy and fun. I think if there's anything else I want to get. I don't have any breakouts going on at the moment, um, thankfully, and I like my freckles. So maybe that's something I can show you. The goal with Demi isn't really to add more things, but makeup is your own and you can do your own thing. And you guys know I love a faux freckle. <laughs> and so this is a good opportunity to teach about freckles. I don't want to cover them up, but if you did have some that you wanted to cover, you should know that freckles are green. They're not just brown and them being dark doesn't make them blue. They are green. Um, same with like melasma and stuff. That's usually going to be green. So if you wanted to neutralize it, you would want to use a pink to do that. So like a red, but a pink because it's not like a super deep. So you don't need to use a red. So pink, it's in the red family. Um, but if you wanted to add freckles, <laughs> you could use a neutral green. Um, so down here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that with my tiny brush and let's add some freckles for fun. I'm gonna flip this to pat off any excess. So I'm just pressing it in to the skin and it'll remove, like I said, any excess cream um, and just help it blend a little better onto the skin. So it looks real. Not cute. I love Demi for freckles <laughs> because it does just look like skin, right? So those look totally real now, and that's just so fun. I my sister gets super freckly, and I don't get super freckly. I get like the random bigger freckles all over, and then if I do spend a lot of time in the sun, I just get really tan, <laughs> which she can't do. So it's a trade off. But yeah, I love freckles. And so I just have to add my own. <laughs> but that kind of shows you, right? So freckles are green, right? Because these look real and I used a dark neutral green to make them. Let's see if I want them anywhere else. Okay, that's fun. 
What do we think? I'm gonna add, I told you guys that you can use blue as a, to catch the light, so that's what's up here. I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of that very light purple again, and I'm just gonna put it right here to catch some of the light, because I want kind of an illuminator look. But we're gonna use color instead of glitter. And then I can use it right here. So you see it really does brighten it and so that's why you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to neutralize things that don't need to be neutral. Um, you wouldn't want to put this all over, it'll make you look like a ghost. But if you utilize just a tiny bit of it in a couple spots to catch the light, it's just really pretty. And so like I said, this is glammed up. I will definitely do a more everyday simple summer's coming up. I can literally use three colors, three minutes, done. Um, but I wanted to have fun because it's my birthday, this is Valentine's, so it's just like a sweet, kind of more fun, more glam natural look. So you see what I mean by that? Like, I wouldn't normally go to all this trouble with Demi. I would just neutralize a couple things, add a little sculpt, call it good, um, and just, you know, enjoy my natural face. But if you like a little more, but you still want it to look just like skin, you can just have a little more fun <laughs> and play around, right? Because op the options and opportunities are literally endless. You can make any combination of anything. And so that's part of what's so fun. It's just, you can be artistic with it. I just love it. <laughs> so it's my new favorite thing to just sit and play with when I have the time. Um, yeah. Okay, let me go closer to the window and show you um, a, you know, like a more lit angle. Okay. Do you see how gorgeous and like flawless, snack? right? Snack. You want a snack? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to come up here with me? Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> and your skin's already flawless. Isn't that just fun? I just want you guys to see from all the angles. Right, and so much of my skin is completely uncovered. Um, but it's all seamless because color science. Isn't that cool? Mom. Yeah. Want a snack? Okay. We'll go get a snack. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will get this edited and up for you. I'm so excited to teach you more about Demi Color.